Hey yo, what's up with it, man? It's your boy No Test back for another video. Listen, so we just checked out the Monique video where she claimed that D.L. Hughley who was playing, uh, try to play some, uh, uh, his radio host played some gay, like, you know, trying to ask, see if her husband would have sex with Lee Daniels or would she rather her husband have sex with, uh, Korean Stephens without a condom, you know, some silly stuff like this. And then she said he was, he was, uh, something about a contract where he sent in a memo about him going on last and trying to get her not to go on last at a comedy show in Detroit. And she also said he'd been talking about her for many, many years. Said she, he gets on Vlad TV and talks about her. And I, like I said in the last video, I remember uh, him saying something about her on Vlad, but I don't think, I think Vlad had asked the question and he just responded. But, you know, we about to see what he had to say about what she had to say about him. Let's see. Club Shay Shay is getting messier and messier. Uh, it's almost like Wendy Williams didn't go anywhere. She just got a weight set. Um, and so Monique was on. Every time I see Monique these days, she's on uh, doing some greasy ass video with her and her daddy complaining about something or working out. I don't know nobody that work out that much and gain weight unless every crunch you do has got captain in front of it. But apparently she goes on Club Shay Shay and tells the story about how she came on my radio show and I wasn't there at the time. And uh, uh, my co-host, Jasmine Sanders, played a game that we played all the time with everybody called Would You Rather. She apparently was so offended by that that she says she got off. She called me. Monique did. And she said I was very dismissive. Like, huh? Monique's a liar. When Monique did call me, I heard her, her complaints. I listened to her and I pulled the segment. So if I had been as dismissive as she alleges I was, that segment would have aired. It didn't because I respected her wishes. She's a liar. Okay, it's, okay, hold on, hold on. He called a liar. Now, what she said, she said the segment was pulled because her lawyer sent a cease and desist. He's saying it was pulled because he respected her wishes. He seen that she was upset, and he he pulled it. Now, let's see, you know, was it the cease, cease and desist, or was it, did he pull it like this? Because if you're doing a cease and desist, that takes time. It ain't going to just happen like that. So if he did a segment, a radio show especially, the radio show is going to come out probably sooner than the cease and desist. So D.L. Hooley might be telling the truth on here. But he called her a liar. Now, one thing I can say for sure, nobody hopped out and called Cat Williams a liar. Hold on now. He called Malik a liar. Would have aired. It didn't because I respected her wishes. She's a liar. It's, it's also befuddles the shit out of me how somebody who has a comedian talks as much shit about everybody else as she does. She has the temerity to be offended about anything as much shit as you say about people. Then she encouraged everybody. Uh, allegedly, it stems from the fact that I used to always talk shit about her on video after video. And she encouraged her sweet babies to look at the video and find them. Do that. Do exactly what she says. And you know what you're not going to find? You're not going to find any evidence of that because Monique is a fucking liar. She's lying about that. <laughs> but what you will find is Monique talking shit about some uh, uh, alleged contract dispute we had. Look at the ticket. It says D.L. Hughley, then Monique. She knows the story. But what she did in response to that, she talked about my dog, my wife. This broad even bought out my daughter's personal trauma. My daughter was molested and Monique bought that shit out and, t and told the world that I allowed my daughter to be raped in front of me. The lying motherfucker. She knows she was lying. And it only stopped when everybody from my family checked her. It's interesting. You know what else you won't see Monique doing? You won't ever see a, her with her family, videos with her children or grandchildren, because nobody fucks with me. How do you have sweet babies when your own babies don't fuck with you? How do, how do you love us for real when there's no evidence of anybody loving you for real, except your daddy, who you apparently have to pay? Hmm. And FYI, daughters are paid for by daddies, not daddies who get paid by their daughters. You'll never, you know what else you won't see Monique doing? Telling jokes. Monique, uh, if she just spends as much time actually writing jokes and writing her Netflix special as she did complaining about not having one, it wouldn't have been trash. It got the wor worst reviews of any Netflix special in history because that's what Monique does. She complains and she has grievances. You never see her being a human being. You never seen her being sweet and warm to people, except when she's using it to butter somebody up to get something. There's a reason why everywhere she goes, shit starts. Everywhere she goes. How is it 
that nobody fucks with you, not even your family. How do you, or I was on the road, get it. I get it every goddamn week. <laughs> Look at my schedule versus yours. See how much I'm going. And I still manage to have a relationship that I cherish with my children. Can you say the same? You can't. It's all you do is talk about your grievances and who did you wrong. There's a reason you're fought by yourself. There's a reason you got to pay a man to love you. Mm. It's sad. There's an old adage that says you can't buy love. It's a shame, Monique, that you probably always will have to. Mm -hmm. Now, he just went in on her. He just went in on her. Bruh. The way DL is talking, sounds like he might be telling some truth because she did have a Netflix, but what's her? I don't even know what the history was. I know she was like not, Netflix was trying not to pay her uh, her stuff and she was refusing, I guess. But he said like she had the Netflix special and uh, it got bad reviews. You know what I mean? So I don't know. We're going to we, we gonna have to do some investigation, man. But it sounds like, I don't know who was telling, it don't, you know, D.L. Hughley don't seem like a, you know, the person to come out and try to be a liar. And Monique has been surrounded by a lot of drama these past 10, almost 10 years, man. With her name, there's been a lot of drama to her stuff with Oprah, her stuff with uh, Lee Daniels, her stuff with uh, Tyler Perry, the stuff with D.L., the, you know, the stuff with Netflix. She been going. She been having a lot of stuff uh, floating around her 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 little thing, and you know, cause maybe she got on there to tell you. You know, she said that she make you tell the truth. So she was telling the truth about some stuff, cause he didn't say that uh, the thing didn't happen with her and her husband on the radio show, but he's saying that he chose not to air the thing. He wasn't on cease and desist. So she got a season to desist. She, you know, she have evidence to to back up her claim. He's saying, look at the billing on the on the uh, the concert in Detroit. His name and her name. So we'll check that out. She say he been talking to about her for years. He said, ain't nobody found no video of it. <laughs> you know what I mean? So. Oh no, man! It sounds like a bunch of uh, nonsense, man. They got their little stuff going on, but if she did talk about that man' daughter getting raped and shit like that, but that's 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 below the belt. You don't do that. You don't do that. You don't bring up nobody's ch child's trauma and talk about this like this. You don't do that. You don't do that at all. That's just that's just dirty, bro. You don't do that type of stuff. And why would you? And why would you do that? What has he said about you so bad where you would even try to, like, you don't play like that, man. That'd get somebody killed, get somebody hurt doing that silly ass shit like that, man. You can't do that. Play with people, kids, especially that man's daughter been raped or something like this. Come on, you can't do that at all. Can't do that at all. But I don't know her family situation. He said nobody want to be around, nobody fuck with her. So I don't know, man. Let's see what's up, man. What y'all think about these two videos? If y'all didn't watch Monique one, go watch Monique one I did. What y'all think about DL and what he had to say? You know what I'm saying? It's up in the air with me, man. But y'all already know, man. It's your boy, No Tats. I'll see y'all next.